there's one thing that you guys are going to want to be doing asap in 2.0 inuzuba patch and this is going to be getting you unlocked content the mask of memories a bunch of cool stuff and areas to explore and it can be a little bit difficult to finish this because the game really doesn't tell you where to go so we're going to be getting in there we're going to try to do this as fast as possible with as much detail as possible while cutting out the chaff so let's get into it if you guys want to see more genshin stuff if you like the channel hit that subscribe button so it's all going to start right here right near the start of where you kind of explore right above Kanda village now at this shrine here with the little fox you're gonna see for your first encounter a question mark question mark question mark npc you're gonna talk to her and you're gonna get a quest called the strange story or a strange story in Kanda. what this is going to do it's going to lead you over here and this is going to be a little bit of fetch quest stuff um you're going to be talking to some npcs learn some information but ultimately what is going to happen is you're going to gain access to a key and you're going to use that key to open up a well so you're going to have to use that key come down in here in the well here we go here we go and this is going to introduce you to the mechanics of this big large sub quest so you're going to come down here and there's going to be some things that you need to be doing in here like climbing this wall thank you zong lee so much big big boy zong lee and you're going to come down in here and you're going to be met with maybe possibly your first electro wall very easy to get past you just need to pick up one of these electro granums while you have that thing floating around you're good to go you can just walk through it like that now you're going to be brought up to and talk to the npc and you're going to be learning that you're going to be cleansing the shrines now it's very important that you learn how to do this for yourself so each of these different things will be numbered one through five here you can change the other ones you can adjust the order of what you want it to be but you cannot adjust the starting areas so we have to do is tldr you look at the sign you figure out which one this one here is so this is number one and it's in the bottom so you know that it's this guy right here and then you have to just sort of uh adjust the number so we'd go one two right that one over there would be three four and then five and you'll light it up and you're gonna be doing more of these things now this is gonna lead you to the next part of the storyline quest it's going to take you into something called the sacrificial offerings and you're gonna have to learn that you need to do a bunch of this stuff okay so what you're gonna be doing here though is you're gonna have to go northeast of Kondo village so all you need to do is teleport back to Kondo village out of the well if you so desire and then start heading northeast up this direction and you'll see exactly where you need to go underneath these gates here and this is going to take you to the second part of the quest now this is going to be a pretty lengthy one especially if you're bad at this hide or seek sort of game here and you're going to see a uh, character's name mysterious spirits and the goal here is to talk to these mysterious spirits and when you talk to them they'll warp somewhere else they have this designated pattern and it might be confusing because there's actually multiple spirits like there's going to be a spirit up there on top of the roof there might be one uh hanging out by that fox shrine over there and they're gonna be teleporting around and the goal here is to get all three of them to teleport behind each of these statues if a spirit is standing behind one of the statues don't talk to them anymore because if you talk to them you have to do it all over again for that spirit so talk to the spirits find them until they are all behind a statue you'll get three big treasure chests and you'll actually learn about uh, a little bit more of the lore with the book and the quest will then take you back to the uh, big area up here and there you will receive a very important item for the rest of this quest the memento lens now the memento lens is something you're gonna have to have equipped to use it's kind of like the camera and what this does you're gonna come back here because you're not done yet you're not done yet and you're gonna be using the lens on these different uh these will be glowing but well, i already beat it so it's not glowing for me but you'll use the lens and you'll hover over it and it'll unlock certain story modes uh, and a little bit of story content. So if you do that for all of the little uh, Earth Kitsunes, there's gonna be a, a bunch of them, right? There's like one under there, there's one that's there. Find all the glowing Kitsunes and that is going to give you a shrine key. Basically, it's gonna allow you to cleanse another shrine. The way you get your shrine activation is eventually this one will be like, hey man, you want the shrine activator? All right, you'll come over here, you'll hit it with Electro and then the little uh, shrine key will be right down there. Oh, I forgot to activate this guy. Let's see what he got. Probably gonna give me just a little bit of, a little bit of something, a little bit of something, something. Oh, we'll do that later. Cool, neato. And once you have the item to cleanse said shrine, the shrine is actually, it's a little bit hard to find uh, if you don't really look around everywhere. You have to head down to this lake that's right below where you were and you'll come in here 
and this is where the next shrine will be so you're gonna cleanse this shrine and that's gonna take you to the next part of the sub quest now i think you can do this in any order but these are the order that i did them in you go to uh, the forest over here just below where you just were and you are going to um walk up here i think when you teleport in here you'll hear like oh i hear echoes or whisperings of something there's our friend around our old friend the mysterious spirit girl and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making your way up to uh a statue i don't think it's this one you just follow follow the road just follow the road i need to sprint more follow the road and you'll follow this all the way up to your next area what's a little tanuki dude i know dude you're part of the subquest i got you brother i know man i know and you'll be walking up this way and I do believe it's actually just off to the left up here. And you will find this statue here. You'll fight some enemies and he'll give you kind of a mini quest to find his three boys right here. Uh, and this one's not very hard to do. They're just kind of behind you. You find them, they run away a little bit and might teleport and turn into like a torch or something that you need to light on fire. And you'll collect uh, another way to cleanse a shrine. And this shrine cleansing area is right off by the beach down here. So this one, you'll jump off down this way and uh, the one of the little Tanuki dudes will open up a wall for you in the side here, which will be right here and you'll cleanse. Whoa. You'll cleanse this shrine. All right, so you'll cleanse this shrine. I know now I'm a statistic, man. Oh no, but you'll cleanse this shrine and that'll be uh, one of the shrines that you need to do. And uh, basically this one's a little bit tricky because it plays you know with a uh, lateral access here so it's one two there is another one up there behind that behind the tree branch that's a two the one in the alcove down there's a three and that's a four and you'll be good to go with this shrine next area that you're going to be going for is right around here if you have the court you can teleport to it because the area that we're exploring for this shrine also unlocks a little underground area for you to explore as well um, which is pretty cool you might have seen it from the outside looking in all the doors are locked this is how you'll get into that area so we're going to be going over here and we're going to be heading towards these electro uh towers i guess we'll call them towers for right now and what you need to do here is that button right there will be locked down and you're going to need to find a way to open it and that's not very hard to do all you need to do is find all the different locked electro towers and open them up so these ones will be able to be uh hit, lit up pretty easily the other ones uh you have to either do a puzzle or maybe fight like a little a little guy for them so that one is locked behind like a, a battle uh, this one over here is locked behind a puzzle so nothing super insane um for this part but what you're going to do after you unlock the uh, button is you're going to click that button so you hit this bad boy right here and what this does is it allows you to actually climb up here and previously this right here was closed off so you'll be able to get in there now and this one will be closed off for you all you have to do though is pop out your little your little scanner 5000 and you'll be able to uh open up the door by revealing these three buttons now once you open up the three buttons push the three buttons this will open up you'll fall down here and you will have access to you're like oh we don't have the thing for the prayer though we don't have the way to cleanse it you'll just click on this you'll walk in here you'll smack the you'll smack the little fox with your lightning attack and that'll give you the thing that you can cleanse it with and there'll be a chest right here for you guys as well then you'll do this right here this will be your prayer area you'll get in there you'll do that and then if you come around to the corner here you'll have a puzzle here that you can perform and what you'll also have is a ceiling up there i left him just so you that he's chilling out and then you'll have this underground area here now when you get down in here for the first time it's going to be all full of water you guys might panic so come in here with uh max i don't oh yeah he's dead still <laughs> max uh stamina and what you can do though is the water will be right at the uh the ledge or the level of uh this right here you'll be able to swim and stand on it for stamina recovery so that's something that you're going to want to do there you won't be able to really explore any of this stuff right away but what you are going to want to do that's why that rock is still unexplored i haven't gone through there yet for the chest um, I've just done the story quest. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and you'll be able to make it up here. You'll be able to open up the gate. And this may be if you were to explore at heart where you saw it for the first time, all of this stuff was underwater. This is all locked off. This was blocked. You'll be able to do that gate right there. And then you'll be able to do that puzzle. There'll be a puzzle right here for you to do. And that'll take away all of the water down here. And you'll be able to explore 
all of this underground area for some free loots and all of that cool stuff. This is very important to do because not only does it unlock this stuff, but that tunnel down there actually leads all the way out to this underground area which has another domain as well as the perpetual mechanical array and a teleport spot under Inazuma for you guys to get down here as well to uh, continue doing all your cool stuff. I haven't fully explored all this stuff yet. I have fought the guy a couple times. It's pretty fun to fight, um, but uh, you'll come down here and you'll have access to uh, some more stuff. You'll be able to unlock. I do believe you need to do like another puzzle or so to unlock the domain, but this is how you get down to said domain. And there is the other uh, world boss guy for your viewing pleasure as well. You could also walk over here instead of falling deep down, come up over this way and you'll have access to one of these guys and a, a button for you to hit and a nice little puzzle that I haven't done yet um, to unlock this. So that's there for you guys to do as well. And you also saw there was a, I think something that you can explore behind him. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Let's go see if there's anything cool down here anything cool down here oh it's the way up and out yeah true true now the next one that you're going to be heading towards is going to be uh right off of the Kamasato estate here so teleport to that and walk your way up here and you're going to go after this little island right here in front of us so you see this little island up here you're going to jump off and this island right below i guess it's not an island i guess it's like a little bit of a i don't know a plateau uh, whatever and you're going to be right here and this statue won't be here what you're going to have to do this guy will be shining you shine your shiner and then you hit him with the electro i think the game even reminds you for this one that you can get your uh your sealer with the electro and then uh, pick that up now what you're gonna do right from here is you're gonna run over there'll be like some treasure chests that you can uh go ahead and some bad guys to kill right here you can see the aftermath the cabbages everywhere it was a fun time for me and you're gonna come over here you're gonna summon the wave rider right so you summon the wave rider and then you're not going too far with it i guess if you want to like Hey, a land walk your way over here or maybe Mona dash the whole way you can do it too but the wave rider is right here so who cares and uh you'll come over here to this island and what you're going to do with this island here is this is where the shrine is going to be and this is where the second part of the underground content is going to be revealed now this will be sealed up when you get here but like always you're going to have your little boy kind of chilling out right here one of the little tiny uh stone uh earth kitsunes and it's going to uh reveal this area after you shine your shiner on them uh big old shiners and this area is going to take you down to you've guessed it yes the shrine so grab one of these as it's you can see the purple around the screen you'll take damage if you don't have your little uh your little electro guy with you so you need your little electro guys and this is going to persist through this puzzle so it's going to add a little bit more difficulty for this puzzle here but don't worry it's just clicker mcfesta they're all down here it's a it's a click fiesta down here so you'll be doing this right here you'll be done you'll be good to go you can also explore uh continue to explore down this way so what you do after you do the shrine you can continue on or you can uh see what else there is to see down here and this is going to be the big seer so you're going to come up here and you'll be able to do uh i think yeah up here Oop, you you'll be able to follow uh a nice little sealy all the way up to the twop all the way up to the twop mr mcseely is up there so you'll follow the sealy up this way and then you'll get to the top here and you can just do this nice little teleport thing there'll be an electro oculus there for you and you'll deliver your sealy boy right there for you so that's going to be that shrine so once you're done with all of those shrines that we just did you're going to come back to kind of village you're going to go right back down the well you're going to talk to her and she's going to tell you to come back up to the here the grand and arakami shrine so you're going to teleport up here and you're going to jump off a little bit to talk to her again you guys uh, i'll show you the spot in case uh you know you fall too far and you, you kill yourself so uh you're going to come down here and you're going to be kind of big chilling um the game will sort of tell you where to go and what she's going to do here for you is she is going to cleanse the water here i think she's like right there or something i can't remember but she, the game will tell you where to go for this one and you're gonna talk to her and you're gonna come down here for the final grand of fight here so i'm gonna leave uh no spoilers here for you guys uh but you're gonna come down here and you're gonna have the final fight you saw it in the opening trailer uh if you guys know who that is and also you're gonna have all these nice little flies to come down here and pick up from time to time after you beat it now once you beat it the boss um it's going to kind of 
put puzzles and enemies and bosses together all at the same time you're gonna have to cleanse shrines in the middle of fights all right while the boss is trying to beat you down so that's why the shrine things are down here you're gonna have to maintain um your little electro buddy down here because the face is going to be full of miasma and once you cleanse it you're kind of done with it and there was going to be a cutscene, and you're going to get an item that you can pick up and it's going to actually allow you to craft the new catalyst could be the four star blueprint for that catalyst and here it is the hakushin ring now don't confuse yourselves the blueprint isn't actually called a blueprint in your inventory it's actually a mask and you will use it and then it'll allow you to learn the recipe for the ring hopefully that didn't take too much of your time it took me a couple hours to do all of this stuff between the cut scenes and the back and the forth and learn how to do it for the first time myself and kind of figuring everything out mostly on my own it was fun i enjoyed it if you guys want to see more stuff for genshin impact make sure you subscribe to the channel like that and comment for the algorithm gods and i'll see you in the next one